Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rosette here and today I'm going to tell you guys my tips to taking um, really good Instagram photos and just to feeling comfortable, you know, posing and figuring out what looks best in photos. So I have all of those tips for you to share how to look amazing um, in your photos. And I feel like when people go on Instagram or social media, a lot of the times they're thinking, wait, on their explore page, like how does everyone look so natural doing the most like bizarre poses or they just it looks flawless and that's just because it takes a lot of practice and figure out what works for you so here are my tips to taking really good Instagram pictures you're taking photos the best type of lighting is natural lighting natural lighting is always better I just think it looks like you're more alive it's more warm and the picture is more inviting to look at other thing with natural lighting is that there are different types of natural lighting I have learned this the hard way so when I used to go to the beach for example it's around like noon or 3 the light is right above you and I don't know if you've ever noticed this if you guys have taken pictures at the beach during that time but like you look awful you can see everything every like imperfection is showing and the light is like hitting your face so and it's super harsh nothing looks flattering about it that's because the light is coming from everywhere so when you take a photo i suggest taking them earlier in the morning or later in the afternoon but not right around noon harsh lighting looks so bad if you're kind of squinting sometimes and the sun is just beaming in your face I don't think that looks super good. So what you can always do is go underneath a tree, for example, that will still have that natural lighting, but it won't be as harsh. And you want to face the light source, have the light, the person taking the photo, and then you. Yeah, you want to be facing the light. Um, another suggestion is to take photos like in a parking garage um, when it's nice, for example. So just be aware of the lighting, golden hour is a really popular time to take photos. You just look warm. It gives you like a honey tone. I like taking them in the afternoon, but not when it's golden hour. Cause I feel like sometimes I look just like sweaty and I look too yellow, but some people make it work for them. So I bet, you know, do figure out what times work best for you. So then my next tip is to get inspiration. I save pictures that I see on my Instagram that I'm like, oh my God, I love X, Y, and Z. And then I can just pull them back and when I have an outfit that's similar or I wanted to do a pose that's similar, I can recreate it, but in my own way. And yeah, you're just like learning from the photo and taking away what you wanna take away. So sometimes the outfit is what inspires me, sometimes the background, the aesthetic, or if it's a place I wanna go. For example, when I was in Italy, I really wanted a picture by the Trevi Fountain and I didn't really know how to do it because walking by, like there's so many people and I didn't want pe people to be in my photo. I didn't know where to stand so that the lighting wasn't too harsh. And I went on Pinterest and I figured out, okay, so a lot of people take uh, the Trevi Fountain, they take their photos on the side of the Trevi Fountain, not in the center, but on the side of it, where there's a railing so that they can be one of the only people standing next to the fountain without having people in the background. Um, but it just helped me position it really well. And I like didn't have that many people in my photo and that's what I wanted. So when it comes to actually taking the photo, I like taking them on my iPhone. I don't have the newest iPhone, so sometimes I use my friends or the people that are with me and they help take my pictures and airdrop it to me. I think I like looking at pictures of people on their iPhone and not like professional professional photos. I have friends who love that look, but I think it looks a little too professional for me and for what I'm trying to post. Figure out, do you like the way that the professional camera looks? Do you have a camera? Using your iPhone to take pictures is completely fine. Figure out what works for you, what you think looks best. And then out of 10 times, I'm taking the photos on my iPhone. I don't, I don't know. I just think it looks so much better. And the other thing is like with the new iPhones, there's like portrait and there's all these different things. I really dislike portrait. I think it just like brings out your pores and it brings out all the like little things I don't want to see when taking a photo. Yeah, so I turn off portrait. I turn off uh, live a lot of the times. I feel like the photo's crispier that way. Okay, so let's talk about posing because I feel like that's where people have a lot of issues and it totally makes sense. It's kind of awkward to be standing there having someone take pictures of you, um, especially in public when there's other people around. I have gotten to the mindset now where I'm like, oh my God, everyone takes photos. Why should I be embarrassed to be out here um, taking a photo? I don't really care anymore, but that took a really long time 
my friend told me she was like yeah i don't know my friend gave me some type of advice and i don't remember what it was but ever since she said that it's stuck in my mind that like it doesn't matter everyone takes photos do what you want to do but yeah it can be very nerve-wracking and you look awkward so my first tip is posture i think the worst thing to see in a photo is someone that has really bad posture so posture bring your shoulders back when you're taking a, a picture especially when you're sitting down i think it looks better to have really nice posture um so you can imagine what i do is imagine a string pulling you from the top of your head and bring your shoulders back and like put your chest out which i have a big issue with um but you push your chest out shoulders back you want to have really nice posture when taking photos a thing that can help is adding heels or uh, pumps to an outfit because it naturally kind of just makes you like have better posture make sure your back is straight when you're taking photos i tell my friends that all the time like back straight make sure that you look elongated uh, it's gonna just make the photo look a bit nicer versus that or this unless that's your look your aesthetic um you want to have really nice posture the other thing is to never really stand still um i like taking photos and switching up positions so when i take them i'm always kind of moving my body but slowly so it's not like very drastic but slowly move your body and get different angles especially in the beginning to see what you like and what you don't like um and that just gives you a lot of different options and you don't want to just stay in the same photo for the whole time because you're not gonna have any variations. Um, as for your eyes, I'm gonna get really specific. I wanna give you guys the best tips. This is really what I have learned from taking photos over the years. Um, you want your eyes to be more open. Um, that sounds weird, but the more open your eyes are, I think the better you wanna be able to see them. You wanna look you know, alive. Obviously don't have like a crazy eye face. Like there's a difference between kind of like squinty eyes versus more open eyes and most of the time um, you want to kind of make your eyes look bigger it's hard if you're in the Sun you're, you know in direct sunlight but it just looks a little bit better but I think it looks better when your eyes are just a little bit more alive bring a prop with you I know this sounds weird but I started bringing a prop bag with me sometimes and what that means is like a prop can be a purse a prop can be a jacket a prop can be um, just like any you know anything that you can carry or hold it makes the, it makes it so much easier to take a picture instead of just standing there and having nothing to hold if you actually have a prop you can kind of play with it you can hold your purse in different ways and that just makes it that gives you something to do in a way recently I've been loving the coffee looks a lot of girls will have their Starbucks coffee or whatever store it's from but they'll hold it and make it more casual and so I love that because you can play with it. You can use, like your hands are actually doing something instead of just like laying at your side. Find something to hold that matches with your aesthetic of the outfit. The other tip I have is just to like, when posing, you can always cross your arms. Um, you can put your one hand in a pocket. There's so many different things you can do, but what I don't like to see is just standing still. You don't see a lot of photos of people just standing with their hands to the side. I've really been liking recently is putting your one arm behind your back and kind of playing with it like that. Hair, playing with your hair is another one. Gently putting your hand on your cheek. Um, play with your face. So these are just a few tips of like things you can do while taking photos. Okay, and with all of this being said, practice in the mirror before you go. So a lot of the times I'll have my outfit and I'll be like, oh, I kind of want to do something with my face. I want to do like a smirk or I want to do a smile or I want to have a certain look. And so I practice in the mirror so I kind of know what I like and what I don't like in photos. That can be super helpful because you are your worst critic. So if you can practice beforehand before you get out there, you're going to kind of know like, oh, I liked this look and I didn't like what I practiced in the mirror. Switch that up and you're fine. The biggest advice I have with photos is to take a few Figure out your different positions, whether it's crossing your hands, it's using your prop, it's, you know, playing with your face, playing with your hair. Use, do all of that. Take a few, go through them, and look and say, okay, wait, I really liked when I was doing, you know, I liked these poses, but I didn't like my body. I liked my face in that. I liked, you know, oh, the way that I was holding the bag was really cute, but I looked kind of awkward. I looked too stiff. So then you start to go and you can favorite your ones of where your face looks the best or where you think you kind of want to recreate that and start to recreate it so that's kind of what i do i'll take a few photos and then i'm like oh wait i'm really loving 
you know, the one where, for example, my face looks super good, but I feel like my body's not, my posture's not good. So then I'll go back, I'll go to that same position, and I'll fix what I didn't like about the first photo. Uh, sometimes fixing it takes a while. That's the reality is if you want that certain photo, just keep going until you get that photo that you liked, but you've fixed the problem. I'm kind of getting to the end of my tips for you guys. What's been really helpful if a friend or the person taking the photo will go in the area that I want to take a photo and I'll hold the camera um, and I'll just ask them to stand there so I can just see how the lighting looks, how the background looks, so that they don't waste their time. Like, you know, no one really wants to sit around all day taking photos of you. Like, I have some amazing friends who are, who are going to stay with me until I get the photo I want. But the reality is if you're working with someone else and on their schedule, you don't want to take that many pictures. So what I'll do is I'll just ask them to, you know, stand in front of the place I want to take a photo. So let's say we're at a park and we're in front of a bench and I'll have them sit there for me and I'll just take them kind of knowing, okay, wait, I don't want all the trees in it. I just want these trees. The lighting is better here. So then when you go ahead, switch with them and then now you know, they know where to hold the camera and they know where to, the angle is that's best for you and you don't have to waste their time um, so that's been really helpful is just you know figuring out lighting and stuff because that can take a while and you don't want them to be each time moving with you and finding different places. Abundance in this scenario is key. I know that sounds crazy but the reality is that within two, three seconds your face can change so much. Having them take a burst of photos or having them just keep clicking, keep clicking because your face can change so slightly in one instant that you love or hate a photo and it's so specific but that's true like there's times where like one second just changed everything about a photo and I love it the more the merrier in this situation like taking it by yourself you can always just do as many as possible if um, I suggest taking a lot of photos my last thing is just make your outfit match with the situation for example if your ball gown or a really nice going out dress Go somewhere nice, like get a back, get a uh, column in the background, go to a restaurant, take your pictures by a, you know, a beautiful stairway. If you're doing streetwear, you might want to go to a parking garage, you might want to go somewhere downtown, but think about where you're posing and think about the background and make sure it makes sense because you want your, the accessories that you have with it, the background that you have with it to all match and it to make sense, especially when posting on Instagram. And so yeah, your hair, your makeup, your, outfits all match. If your makeup looks like you're going out and you're wearing just a regular tank top and shorts, does that really make sense? If that's what works for your page, then go ahead. And with backgrounds, I just want to say that, yeah, find fun backgrounds. Some people love a white wall, but it's always really fun to see a nice, pretty background. Um, white walls are white walls, but if you can find something that's unique or that just stands out, it's gonna make your photos look better. I think sometimes people forget that what's in the back is important, that the eye will look for beauty and will look to see you know, what looks aesthetically pleasing. So I've noticed that my pictures that are, that the backgrounds aren't that nice, don't do as well. But if it looks pretty, if it looks clean, if it looks modern, whatever it is, if it works with the outfit, and on top of that, it looks aesthetically pleasing, I think that those photos do really well versus like a background where there's junk in the back where there's be aware of that well, guys that's it for this video i hope you found this really helpful if you did and if you made it through the end uh definitely subscribe that would mean a lot to me um and honestly if i tell you anything if you take a picture and my words like something stuck with you tag me in it dm me the photo i'd love to see it um, and I know I it's taken me so many years to just figure out what works for me and what doesn't and I'm still learning um, But these are just a few of the tips That I wanted to share with you guys all my social medias are linked in the description below I mean that's the end of the video. So I hope again. I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video